We are live. You get the idea. Um, <laughs> tonight, we are going to be transcribing Matteo Mancuso. We are back. We are back to do some more. Some more of the madman, the insanity. Um, less of that. And tonight, I am using a guitar. I'm using a guitar for two reasons. One, I'm using a guitar because I've just finished teaching um, and my guitar is on my lap. Two, because the piece that we are transcribing today, uh, the camera angles that we get on it, don't um, completely show the, the, the fretboard at all times. So it's not always entirely clear what he's playing or where he's playing it. So for jobs like that, I'll always have my guitar on me so I can check the fingerings. So why don't we take a look at what we are transcribing this evening. Uh, it is time to leave. So Matteo Mancuso's first original tune. It's beautiful. It's stunning. Hello, Alex. Thank you, Alex from Russia. Um, it's a stunning piece of music. I really, really enjoyed The second I heard this, it was immediate. I will have to transcribe that. So um, let's take a listen to it. And yeah, you'll see that he's playing a nylon string guitar. He has a capo on the second fret. So of course I have a capo, which I will... I'll put that on my guitar right now. Capo on the second fret. Oh, need to tighten my capo up a little bit. That will that will help. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. chord am I playing? C. <laughs> Capo's throwing me off. Uh... Nope. <laughs> Capo's throwing me off again. C with a capo on would be this. So le <laughs> less noodling. Um, less noodling, Levi. Yeah, so capo on the second fret. I am set up and ready to go. Uh, it's a bit loose on that top string. Let me get that there. All right, so let's take a listen to this tune. It's going to sound like this. This is an impromptu, Stephen. This is the this is the last Saturday of the month. I do a live stream this day. Uh, and Raul, how's it going, buddy? Right, so tune sounds like this.
sorry, I was just tuning my guitar while that was happening. So, um, yeah, it's in 6A, uh, beautiful, just absolutely stunningly beautiful piece of music. And as we can see from the recording, there are a couple of things to point out when I was uh, first listening to this. Like, I always have to check for tunings. It's important that we check for tunings. If you try to transcribe something and you're using a tuning that the artist isn't playing in, you know, bloody nightmare. Uh, when I watched him play this, plays this intro chord, I mean, immediately this looks like a chord that we'd be familiar with, right? We're probably familiar with this, this type of chord. Um, it's a little bit spicier, but we'll see why as I transcribe it. So as soon as he played this chord, I went, yeah, okay, this is definitely standard tuning because this looks like the sort of thing that I play for a, for a Lydian chord. Uh, what is he? Where's he? Oh yeah, of course there. Uh, uh, is he... Oh Christ, he's putting that there. That's hard to finger. Yeah, you get the idea. So that's a chord that, you know, physically I look at, I'm like, that looks familiar, cool. You know, the sound that I'm hearing looks like the kind of chord that I'm seeing. So this is, yeah, definitely standard tuning. But capo on the second fret. So as pointed out by Raul, it is absolutely in 6-8. So I'm going to edit this marker and subdivide by 6, not 4 beats, <laughs> subdivide by 6 beats. So this is going to allow me to uh, more accurately, you know, if I want to listen to the first half of the bar. I can set that loop up much more, much, much, much more effectively, which uh, of course is always going to be a time saver. Uh, Vittorio, hello from uh, Italy, how's it going? yeah so i'll be honest the intro in this terrifies me because not being able to see what he's doing that's a nightmare um but i think it's also timing wise it's important to get a feel for the time it doesn't feel like it's in six eight because you have these groupings of four one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four F feeling is that the triplet is just not triplet, 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 triplet. Though technically that's what we have. So six eight, um, capo on the second fret. So I'll do that in Guitar Pro. Uh, Vittorio, I'm using uh, Transcribe on the left and Guitar Pro on the right. Uh, how do I do capo? Yeah, capo is there. Keep ringing. Cool. So how is he going to be playing that? It's, yeah, it sounds like an open string next time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> with a capo, it's a pain in the ass, right? So five. checking for the strings that he's picking which helps <laughs> the nightmare as it nightmare. gonna put it there and i can toy around with this to be honest this is the type of job where if i was doing this for meteo we would be able to check the fingerings that makes more sense now Insanity. How 
he plays this as fast as he does is an, an astonishing feat. There's our intro. <laughs> let's get the correct tempo for this. So this would be, um, I'll tell you what, let's go, let's do this. Uh, markers. I want to put in a uh, dotted crotchet. Uh, dotted crotchet marking so subdivide by two beats per measure is uh, 66 66 dotted quarters there we go there we go Yeah, minus seven sharp five is absolutely right. Levi using a guitar, this is serious business. If you can't see what someone is doing, <laughs> having a guitar to hand is um, essential. <laughs> uh, I was so CC says I have a lot of patience. Well, I was I want to say normally no. You know, when you're getting paid, it's quite easy. Whereas um, <laughs> in this particular instance, I'm not. So this isn't really a job. So yeah, I guess I am. I'm having to be very serious to get this. So. Now this chord, it looks like a B minor seven, right? If you if you play that, it's got that open E string, or well, the capo. So now I know the chord. So we're gonna go. Uh, I don't like that grouping for six eight, but it's what it is. So. So, um, yeah, um, I'm just checking to see if he plays with the thumb. So you'd have that. That's a, that's our basic rhythm. Bum ba da bum bum ba da dum da da ga dum da dum. That's a repeating phrase that happens. So it's just holding that those uh, notes that are in the chord. Uh, ba, da, da. Right. So I don't like the way this displays, but let's do it correctly. Beam it correctly for six eight. Now, so we're going to be using liberal amounts of let ring in this to to make this play the way we want it to. Uh, but this, there's no doubt in my mind that this will play correctly. If I put this let ring in like this, we go. Listen to it again. You could argue that he's strumming the, uh, the F sharp in there again. Because he is. I don't really like putting it in there, <laughs> so I'm not going to. But <laughs> you get my, you get the, what I'm getting out of that. Now we uh, discussed this chord earlier. So the chord is, um, that's the chord.
for this, of course, m much harder, much, much harder to do this type of stuff. I'm caught. I'm button. There we go. Um, much, much harder to do this type of stuff than it was to do the Pat Metheny thing. So same idea. We'll just copy paste that. Again, we'll put our let ring in there. Now, I just want to check uh, in terms of arpeggiating those strums. I probably would put a brush downstroke on that. Yeah, we'll put a brush downstroke on these just because he, you know, being able to di differentiate between the fact that these are strummed and these notes are plucked. Bit of a slower strum on that. Uh, five over, s over six. Which, which chord? Which chord are we talking about? Th this. Uh, I'm not really thinking of it as being that, I'm thinking of it as being a Lydian chord. I would think of that as being like, um, without the capo, uh, as being a D over C. Because I've not really in my mind established a key, if that makes any sense. It's a Lydian chord, D over C, two over one. seven sus yeah that's weird he does hit that going off. Oh, Jonathan Russo joined us on Patreon. Thank you very much, Jonathan, if you're watching. You know, I've not done my credits yet. I'll do that at the 30 minute mark. So, uh... I mean, weird, right? But it's what he plays. Brush downstroke. So for something like this, like I'd really want to sit down with Matteo and and um, get in his head. You know, like there's what you play versus what you're intending or what are the way you want it to look. I don't know if this is the way. Like I would be more inclined to not have this repeated B in the bass there. C sharp. I guess.
he, is he strumming there? Yeah, he wouldn't strum that one. That was uh, arpeggioed. Play G9. So then we get the chordal run. Oh, the sorry, the the lick. So it's gonna be amateur, right? So, um, yeah, great lick that. So, put that in there, put the lettering on that. Beautiful. In terms of writing the rest of this out, I need to decide whether or not I want to use multiple voices or not. So let me have a listen to this and see if we've got bass note and melody definition. Yeah, I would probably write this out as two voices. So, because we've got this bass part that goes, um, I said four notes. Whereas over the top, we have this. Um, I can process them as being more of a like a classical guitar part. So let's write it like that. second voice I can't even hear the bass line. Nice chords. I'm going to write these as dotted eights. Hello. Bren, Bren or more belly. Bren or more belly one. Hello. How's it going? <laughs> So with that, with that bass part. Yeah, back to the. And 
then we get over there. You yeah, with the melody from before. So with that top part done, um, with, sorry, with the bottom part done, I'll then go in and add voice one. you play that yeah it's that beautiful chord uh, so our melody is get this voicing no it's like a sus yeah uh, would you play that like that I think he's playing it like that. Unless he'd be playing that here. You could play that there, no problem. But yeah, okay, so we can see the, the shot of where his hand moves. You can see where his hand jumps up to. So he's staying on that uh so he's not hitting that there the uh what i would think of as being a b he's hitting that there ah, okay yeah that makes sense so we are hitting uh like that now is there a note on the g string nope he's not hitting the third I don't, he's not hitting anything that makes sense so da ba da da oh this is hard work Oh, sorry, I reached the half hour mark. <laughs> if you are watching this stream, thank you very much. And maybe you could consider becoming one of my patrons. Link is in the description. It's the best way to support this channel. And of course, you'll be able to download this tab when I'm done. If you're one of my transcription tier guys, transcription challenge guys. So thank you very much for your love, kindness and support. Link is in the description. Join me for as little as $1. Get lots in return and keep this channel making all of the awesome content that you know and love. If that doesn't suit, you can also head on over to Amazon. Check out one of my links. Check out one of my links. Check out one of my books. <laughs> you might find one that you enjoy. You might not, but you know, you might. And maybe you find one that you don't enjoy, but you buy it anyway just to support the channel. Because again, that's how I, um, that's how I put food on my family's table. So... That wasn't awkward at all. <laughs> so we then move down to the same idea. Yeah? I don't think the third's in that. I'm 
I'm going to put it in there. But so is he playing? Yeah, no, no third in there at all. Definitely no third in there. So, uh, this is uh, G over E, and E minor 7. Now we can see just from how he's plucking, first chord is um, low E string and uh, D, G, and B strings, next chord moves over and plays the next uh, three strings. So if we know we're on a B, yep, so it's a B minor seven. Now for this next chord, we can see low E string top three strings. Think it's that. Okay, so uh, yep. So I can hear a major seven in there, right? I think. Of course, that's a nice chord. Yeah, that would make sense. Copy paste that melody. Uh, yeah, I'd probably put some letterings on these because why not? 
to play a bit nicer. So. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> uh, Jimmy1000 says I'm very uh, patient. I am patient. Yeah, I'll give you that. I'm certainly, I'm certainly a patient individual. Um, no arguing there, sir. But I also enjoy this. Like this is, um, this is this is what I like. So, uh, just checking my. Oh, someone wants to join the f the Facebook group. Jonathan Russo was Jonathan the guy that just joined on. He was. I hate it when people do this. Jonathan, Jonathan, if you're watching, you just tried to join my Facebook group, which is fine. You know, you are a Patreon member, so of course you are allowed in my Facebook group. In fact, it's encouraged. Um, but you didn't answer the questions. You didn't answer when you go to join. It asks you two simple questions. And that helps me to filter out from the people that, aren't, that don't support me on Patreon, but just want to join the group. <laughs> uh, I will come back to this in a second. Seeing if any mail came in. <laughs> I say this most streams. I love how YouTube emails me to say live now on your channel. I know, motherfucker. I went live. So we get another view of these chords here. Okay, yeah. So exactly the same phrase. We're just sliding into that C sharp minor chord. And fingering wise for this um, G over E, he's using, which makes more sense. <laughs> Da, da, da. So I'll copy paste. So we can copy paste all of this and then just fix this final bar. There you go. Just want you make sure you can see. So. So uh, keeping with this theme of bass note, uh, do have a, a defined thumb part. So pulls off to that to that open string there that's not a deliberate thing but it is what happens keep the let ring on it nice such a such a nice piece of music um oh you are watching uh john good to see that didn't look closely when i was joining you yeah it's just, it's like it makes me worry mate because i like i say like a lot of people try and join that group and i put those questions in there so i can um make sure that i'm not you know i'm allowing everybody in that should be allowed to come in and it makes me worry that maybe there have been people in the past that have maybe signed up to the patreon but they've not used their facebook name and then they've tried to join the group but then they haven't answered the questions and I've seen a name that I don't recognise and I've not let them join. <laughs> Good luck, minus seven, sharp five. 
So uh, when I'm listening to this bit again, again, I'm just looking for a bass note movement. So um, a definition between thumb and, and melody. So there is, if you listen, what he's playing with his thumb, there is a bass part that he plays. Now I would prefer to write that bass part in and then put the melody over the top. So. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, in voice two. I hate seeing that. Dun, dun. Da, da, da. Ba, da, da. Same idea. Uh. Not playing anything in the last part. Love that Phrygian sound. So that will be the uh, first part, uh, the, the bass part. Now I'll go back and I'll put the melody on the top. Now hopefully you can see that the reason I'm doing it this way is because it's given me something to work with. It's given me a reference that my melody locks in with, that it, that it interacts with, rather than trying to do everything like this as we go along. This has given me a base on which I can literally, if you'll excuse the pun, <laughs> it's given me a base on which I can build the transcription out. Yeah. So up here in melody one, Um, uh, B over C sharp. Yep. 
you know, I'm not even going to fuck around with this because I know that we see him do it on the next time round. So again, just being smart, right? So, uh, sus with a flat nine. Now, of course, this transcription is getting a little bit cramped. Um, I'd space this out at the end. Uh, uh. I just want to see if he goes to a full B minor this time around. So it's a, it's a B minor chord. B minor 7, sorry. Yeah, I'm going to have to space this out now because I, I can't see it. like a C major 7 or G over C If we hear that G, we do. B minor, yeah. Transition. <laughs> Have to hit that for that transition. So nice melody. But if we put these let rings in here, this is just going to come alive. Uh, da, da, that would have a let ring on it. Got a let ring on that. This will ring. This will ring. Now. Beautiful. Copy paste and fix. So
one two three one two He does do that. Yeah. Greetings, Dave. How's it going, Dave? Good to see you, mate. Uh, that runs so Spanish. I agree with you, Loretta. Uh, John Russo says, man, I've learned so much about using Guitar Pro in the short time I've watching, been watching. You know, having two years I've sat on my computer. Um, good. <laughs> Unfortunately, you've just joined me on Patreon, so it's not like I can now turn around and say, thank you very much. I'm glad that I've helped you. You should join me on Patreon. <laughs> you preemptively did it. Well done, sir. You are a good, 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 good geezer. I wasn't stammering. There. Uh, so we put a let ring on all of that and then a let ring here beautiful we're going like beautiful um Getting close to the halfway point. Major. Like a 
like a sus arpeggio and then a diminished arpeggio. Like that. All right, should we listen to it from the top? came off pretty well sorry i'm um i've just got a message from uh one of my clients not one of my clients um someone that i uh uh someone that i hire someone i employ uh, and they've not been paid so i'm just making sure they get paid right now <laughs> Oh. Okay, where have you gone? Hello, Amis, how's it going? So again, I would hope now that I can do a copy-paste job, so we'll watch, watch him play this part and hopefully we can just save some time. Yeah, so it's largely a copy and paste, which I'll then fix. Um, ooh, way too cramped now. So... Uh, where have I gone from? Copied the wrong bit, didn't I? It's from there. Yeah, so I'm going to strum this now. not going to put that there we're going to strum uh, and it's just the high note here and one might argue that it would have been easier for me to <laughs>
Um, so I think there's so there's a piece here, a part here where I had a short bar. This might be where we make that up. So uh, this would be a bar of, of uh, three eight. One two three. 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 Yeah. So uh, let's delete those markers and make that up here. like this piece of music it just keeps going doesn't it, it just i don't want to say it keeps surprising you but you know what i mean it's just like oh, it's, it's just refreshing all the time so this will be about a three eight and then we're going to transition into this uh back to six eight Again, I'm bass noted. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Da, 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 Then we go back, we put a melody in. So. So I like that. Yeah. No. That is empty. Uh, and this is a ghost note. Seven open string. Yeah. yeah, so you have this. I'm gonna put the let rings on them. Uh, because we've got a rest there, the let ring will work.
this. Copy paste. Sweet. There's that section. Uh, let's go from here. And we got a new section. You can tell when I start to get tired. <laughs> Because it's when I just want to go back and just play the transcription over and over to give myself a break. <laughs> give my brain a break. Breaking brain. I'm on capo, damn it, capos. Capos ruin everything. Okay, I can do this. Focus, Levi. It's not even nine o'clock. <laughs> My mind's still bass part. Yeah. It might be high. Let's get there. So it's only four bars. Levi, you can do four bars. <laughs> not doing that though. Okay, my bad, that's not the chord voicing there. Um, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, that. Yeah, got it. <laughs> am 
My bad. So we'd hit this. Oh. Uh. So the chord is no. Sorry, sus. Why is that? Do I need lettering to be on the bottom for that to not look like dog shit? Apparently so. It's F O G. Which bit of software, Frisco? There's two bits. of course that's strange that it's making me do that now I just want to let ring through all of it was it doing that before no it wouldn't do that before uh no, i guess i wasn't crossing bass lines when i was doing it because chords weren't holding out for a full bar maybe hmm. strange little idi idiosyncrasy <laughs> That's a pretty beautiful, beautiful arpeggio.
let's listen from the start just to stop myself from going insane <laughs> actually i'm going to save this so this is going in my patreon folder and it is uh matteo uh mancuso time to leave so from the top <laughs> Sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> Peace, love, help, and happy health and happiness and good stuff. What chord is that? three notes the D over E yeah uh, is it that Check his uh, how he's. Yes, yeah, a strum. Uh, so we're going to put this in as a staccato eighth note. F sharp minor seven. Nope. It's going to take a while, isn't it? <laughs> Chat minus seven, but voice like that. Yep. Now, this is a pain in the ass, but luckily, yeah, he plays it straight after, so. it'd be quite hard for me to tell what he's doing there Thank you. 
I'm just uh, deciding if I want bass note and melody, and I do. Um, we're actually going to, over here, follow this across. Like that. four notes There's a muted string in there. Um. Put a gulpid finger on that, uh, which I do. Oh, I never do this. There we go. Let me hear this at speed. Um, so for these it's, it's that um, 
I need to come up with a nice way that I that I would write this on the score and actually have it, um, you know, in a way that you could process if you weren't reading. You see, then you have. Just go with that. There's got to be a nicer way that I can notate these. Because really we'd use like the, the copy fingers for these. Really you'd put these in like this. But these are percussive slash. Mm. Basically what I'm never going to do is I'm never going to use the percussive slap button. <laughs> which is... Have they removed it? No. Which would be this. Because that looks dumb. You don't do that. <laughs> so never do that, okay? Um, I'll tell you what we'll do. So we won't use the fingers on these. The gobby finger on that. We'll use a brush stroke on this. Just to indicate that this isn't a pluck. Even though that's not really the, you know, it's not truly accurate, but that will give us the right idea. Yeah. It's the same idea as a brush downstroke. The X doesn't mean anything. I don't know what the fuck. I do not know what Guitar Pro were thinking when they invented that horrible bit of notation. Uh. Thank you. 
copy-paste, copy-paste. Let's hear this out. Helps when your guitar's in tune, right? <laughs> Christ, I've gone for a long time. Let me, uh, let me do this. Massive thank you to my wonderful supporters over on Patreon. I can see Stephen uh, in the chat, and Stephen, of course, is on this list. Stephen has been on this list since day number one. He is a long-time patron, a friend of the channel, friend of everything, to be honest. Very appreciative of everything that he has done for me over the last few years. Um, all of your support is appreciated, bud. And I see some other supporters, long-time supporters, minus seven sharp five uh, in the chat. Who else have we got in the chat that's a long-time patron? Anyone jumping out at me? Apparently not all that many chatty people. But if you would like to be like one of those awesome people, get your name in the credits and uh, be part of the team that keeps this whole charade going. Is it charade? No? This whole party. Let's go with that. The whole party. Support the channel. Link in the description to either my Patreon or my Amazon um, links to my books on Amazon. So check one out. Great way to support me. And um, yeah. The more you support, the more I can keep doing this, right? So I wouldn't write this as a bass part.
So I'm, I'm notating it in relation to no capo, but of course, there's a capo. I've totally balls that up. I'm just I'm being lazy now. And we're done. He does put the A in there. What is that? A uh ooh. it's got the six and the and the four in there and the three, so A six add eleven. Beautiful. So I will do that. I'll put a formata on that last bar. Now I'm gonna whiz through and put chords on this. Um, and I think, I think we'll put it in B. It's gonna give us a few spicy accidentals, but nothing too terrifying. Uh, yeah, definitely B, because you've got that B Phrygian section. Um, and then I'm going to go through and I'm going to put chords on it. So this, and I'm, I'm labeling it in terms of concert pitch. So this would be, yeah, we'll just call it a C sharp minor seven. Uh, to a E over D, yeah. We'll call 
call this uh, <laughs> B over C sharp. And then this is uh, an A9. This. An A major. Uh, A to uh, G sharp minor. And then you this. Uh, I'd call that a B, a B sus, B sus two to uh, G sharp sus two. Ah, oh, then we've got um, F sharp minus seven. Yeah, then we're gonna want to space these out. To what? Why don't we go? Um, let's just make it. Oh, what happened there? Uh, let's go here, go bar, system layout, uh, fixed counts per line, let's do that, okay, uh, right, continuing to put my chords in, so we had, I want to be able to see my full chords, uh, yeah, this will be a C sharp minus seven, uh, we're going to call this a G sharp minor, and we would call this um, D sharp minus seven. Lots of practice, Jules. Uh, this is an A major seven. Well, it's major seven is us, really, but we'll go with major seven. And then we repeat, so A, uh, G sharp minor. You got this um, A sus two, yeah. Did I put that as a? Did I call that? I did, didn't I? Okay, no, not A sus two, B sus two. Concert pitch. Uh, G sharp sus two. E minor seven. Uh, C sharp minor seven, G sharp minor, D sharp minor seven, uh, A major seven. Again, A, uh, G sharp minor, G sharp minor. Uh, then we would call this a B over C sharp. Oh, this is spicier. I would call this a C. It's like a C9. Yeah, C9. Uh, not, not C9, sorry, D9. Sorry, capo. Uh, C sharp minor 7. Then we go beautiful like that change so it's an A over D uh, C sharp minus 7 oh this is spicy so here I'm definitely hearing that as being a first inversion so I would be hearing this as being uh, G sharp yeah, it's like a G sharp add nine over uh, G sharp add nine over B sharp would be technically would be the correct nine, name for it. Uh, you would want to do that. It's correct. Uh, I'm just going to call it G sharp sharp over C sharp, uh, B sharp even. Oh, what the hell's happened? No, what have I done? Yeah, 
back to the uh, A. Uh, G sharp minor. Uh, B over C sharp. D9. C sharp minor 7. And this is an A over D. This is a C sharp minor 7. And then we have the cool part, the really cool part. So we've got this B. And then that changes to uh, C over B. Is that right? Well, be pedantic, like a C major 7. Uh, you can put C major 7 over B, but I'll just go with C over B. Gives you the idea. Um, same idea. Uh, no, we, ew, C major 7 over B is more accurate. Because it, this is kind of like a C major 7 over B, I think. It's, it's like a C and a D chord. Uh, this would be an A. No, sorry. A C. What the hell is going on with me? C, yeah. C6? Let's go with C6. Sure. Uh, then we're going back to our B. Yeah. Uh, B. C over B. C major 7 over B. Uh, C6. Uh, B. Then we have these interesting... This is an A over C sharp. This is a... Uh, oh fuck. B7. This is uh, A9. call this not here we are hearing it over the F sharp uh, G sharp <laughs> that's a fucking weird it's like an F sharp over G sharp minor or you could think of it as being like, uh, there's so many things you could call that. But we're just definitely hearing that, I think. I'm going to go G sharp minor 9. And then this would be uh, uh, G over A. And then this is uh, G sharp minor. Then this is uh, E over F sharp. Go into a G sharp minor seven. Uh, D sharp minor seven. And this was our. F sharp minor nine. Almost there, uh, that stays. Yeah, so uh, F sharp minor nine. Now this. Doesn't hit the third in there anyway, so uh, anyway, so it's definitely an A sus too. Uh, F sharp minor nine. A 
takes us to. Okay, so for this, um, hearing this as being well, it's B major 7 sus uh, uh, we could be really accurate if we wanted. We could call it an F sharp over B. F sharp over B is accurate. F sharp over B going to uh, E over A. Saves me time. <laughs> uh, this is an A, and this is a G. Uh, G add nine over it. We'll just call it a G over A. And that's it. That's the whole piece. So, save it again. Export the PDF. This will go up for my patrons to download tomorrow. Uh, let's listen to it. And then I am leaving. And again, almost two hours on the nose. So, it sounds like this. Happy of how that came out. Sweet. <laughs> oh, so there we go. Four hours of transcribing Matteo Mancuso over the last two days. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it. Um, if you have, please do like, hit that like button, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your enemies, all of that good stuff. Uh, share the share the videos. All of that good stuff helps. Let Matteo knows that that we did it again um hopefully he checks it out and enjoys it uh yeah you know helping the channel grow is um i do my best but i need your help with that one too guys so whatever you can do is very much appreciated lastly i want to say a huge thank you to all of my wonderful supporters over on patreon you you keep this channel going i would not be able to do this i wouldn't be able to do it without your support so thank you from the bottom of my heart especially in these trying covid times where it's harder and harder to make a fucking living <laughs> It's nice knowing that I'm not going to go bankrupt. It's nice knowing that I can still, you know, afford to uh, keep food on the table and deal with a divorce, which, you know, always always good fun. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you so, so much for your support. If you want to check me out on Patreon, link in the description. You can support me for as little as $1, guys, and that is um, it, it all adds up. It all helps. So if you would like to do that, it is very much appreciated. If not, you can head on over to Amazon. Again, link in the description. Grab one of my books. 
Um, that's all very much, all very much appreciated. Uh, what is this dark something or other? Says he bought my books. Thank you very much. That's very much appreciated. Uh, Raul, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, what is that? Uh, Akash, please do these sessions more often. I do them uh, on the last Saturday of the month, and I probably will do them moving forward. Uh, is there a way in Guitar Pro to indicate a different tuning or perhaps a capo, but have it play back in standard tuning? No. Why would you want it to play back in standard tuning if it wasn't standard tuning? Um, yeah. So, probably not going to hang around for an answer to that, but two hours. I'm, I'm tired. Tired. I need to go and lie down and play some PS5. So, <laughs> thank you very much, guys. Love you all very much, and I will see you for another stream soon. Uh, helps me with drums. I'm overdubbing. Uh, I'm overdubbing. Oh, okay, cool. Good. I'm, I'm glad I've helped. <laughs> Laters.